Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome on our show tonight Mr. Jaspal Somi, the founder of Chananda Cultural Society. Mr. Jaspal Somi is a retired environmental engineer who went to the USA in the mid 60s for further studies. He worked for the US Department of Energy in Washington, D.C. for over 30 years. After retirement in 2009, he moved to New Delhi and founded the Chananda Cultural Society, a non governmental organization dedicated to spreading the teachings of the Ascended Masters in India. His NGO is also engaged in performing charity work for the children of the Delhi City Public Park employees. He has been following the teaching of the Ascended Masters for the past 45 years and holds workshops and seminars throughout the NCR region. Uh, welcome Mr. Jaspalji, it's a great pleasure and honor to have you with us tonight. So today we will be talking on the topic of the knowledge of Ascended Masters, Angels and the Elementals. I am sure most of us have no clue about these aspects of human life which are very much present around us but we, have, we don't know how to harness their energies, how to take their help and how to ascend to their level where they, they exist. So, uh, beginning with my first question tonight, uh, Jaspalji, please tell us who are Ascended Masters. First of all, uh, thank you Shivaji uh, for having me and thank you all the viewers. It's a pleasure of my deep heart to be with you today. Answering your question Shivaji, who are the Ascended Masters? And that is a question that is a very timely also something that people are not, are not used to really this word Ascended Master. Ascended Masters are our elder brothers and sisters who have freed themselves from this cycle of birth and rebirth from every part of the world, from every gender, every since eons, since, since, since day one when the evolution of the earth began, we call it moksha in India. So, they have freed themselves and they have become from the free from the coming rebirth and they call to at this point they are called ascended masters and they are showing us the way how we can become like them how we can free ourselves from the cycle of birth and rebirth like they did okay so uh, can you tell us who are the few ascended masters who are currently among us and to whose level we can aspire to rise that is a very good question because that's where we start because in India and I, I believe also in other parts of the world, I'm from USA also. So people do not know this word Ascended Master. So how do we recognize them? How do we know what is Ascended Master? Let's talk about in India. We have many, many saints in India, uh, you know, who have walked the earth. Let's start with uh, Gautama Buddha. We have a Krishna. We have a, let's talk Mahavatar Babaji. <laughs> We have Guru Nanak Dev Ji, we have Guru Gobind Singh Ji, we have many, many great beings, you know. We, we used to call them as Devi Devtas, but not the Ascended Masters. So now this term is being introduced so people can really know that there is another level called Ascended Master that is within their reach to, for everyone, that we can become that. And then we look at the other Ascended Master like I think I can mention some more names a little bit later on. They are called Ascended Master Al Moria. I think the Ascended Master will talk about that. Ascended Master Kutumbi. Ascended Master is also Lord Maitreya Buddha, Gautama Buddha. So they are, they are actually numberless numbers of the, of the you know, Ascended Master. But somehow we call them as Devi Devtas or we call them by other names but not as Ascended Master. Okay, so you mean to say once upon a time they were just like us living ordinary lives uh, on this plane and through their efforts and through their interest in spirituality and their selflessness and their inner greatness they were able to transcend that human limitation and reach to this level of ascended master. That is very true and exactly the way you put it. This is the, this is the way. Now the path is being opened to people on the earth that this something that they have achieved that is the goal of life, <laughs> you know. You know, when I was growing up, when I was on my spiritual journey, my spiritual search, you know, 
this question came to me, what is the purpose of life? Why I am here? You know, of course my friends say, well, you know, your purpose of life is to, you know, I went to America, then you get a job, then you get married, then you have, you know, house, buy a house, then you have a car, then you go to party, then you do save the money, then you retire. Mm-hmm. Well, that is true. But what is the inner purpose of life? And that was driving me. I said, well, maybe someone should know the answer. So now when I came to know about that there is an inner purpose of life, and these ascended masters, that some of them we have mentioned by name, they have achieved it. And there is some somebody over there in America who knows the, them also, you know. So I wanted to know who are those ascended masters. How can I find them? Okay. Whom do you refer to when you say of, when you speak of ascended masters in America? Jesus Christ was, I think, it's a Western, Western mm-hmm. nation, you know. So there are most of the people in America are Christians, mm-hmm. Christian majority. But they, unfortunately, they don't, the Christians, do not recognize or do not want to accept it for some reason this word as a Sunday master they call Jesus as a son of God. Mm-hmm. So this organization that I am part of that called Summit Lighthouse in America, they opened up that lid mm-hmm. <laughs> that was on on this, you know, that covers people by religion mm-hmm. only. Mm-hmm. And they removed that lid and said, Well look, under this lid there is a spirituality. And no there are no compartments of religion, so called. And you can connect with them. So Jesus Christ, I came to know about him that he, his role was also to show everyone to become like him. He's ascended master, Jesus Christ, you know, and we can follow him. So I, then I started my journey from him, and then I was led to the other ascended masters. Mm. Other ascended masters. So can you shed light about those ascended masters uh, whom you've been inspired by? You know, I'm so proud, I can say that, and um, to be in India, mm-hmm. uh, because I'm Indian, and India is the land of saints, you know. Right. India, when the rest of the world, it is known that when the rest of the world was in darkness, India was called the, the golden light of illumination. People were coming from all over the world to India, mm-hmm. wanted to learn what is that in India that is a deep spirituality. Mm-hmm. So. Gautama Buddha, he was... He was like Neem Karoli Baba, Swami Nityananda, Sai Baba, they are all... There are many, the many... Category? Yes, there are many, many even beings... Even today? Even... Well, yes, uh, I would say that there have been many saints that have come to India, but I will come back to that. Yeah, there are saints and there are saints, you know. And then we have... One, one, one has to really say... Uh, in this, in this place, you know, how do I find a true saint? Mm-hmm. How do I find someone who is genuinely saint connected? And that is something that I think another, maybe come to that question a little bit later. How, do one, how does one find mm-hmm. who is the saint and who is something that is not quite, but looks like a saint? And that is the, really the challenge of a true seeker in this, in this world. Okay, so how can we identify any ascended master? If this is the challenge, so can you help seekers uh, make this uh, difference? Uh, how to distinguish between who is real and who is not? How to have this wisdom? I will speak for myself. Okay. You know, how did I? How did I? How? I was very hungry. I was very desirous. I really wanted to know God. You are here. I know that. You have, you have sent everyone, you are the creator, I mean all those good things that we know, mm-hmm. where are you? So I was led by my friends to one, second, third, you know, and I said, well, there is something that quite not right here, you know, mm-hmm. I have to go someplace else. So I continued myself from pillar to post, as they say that, mm-hmm. and uh, um, my conclusion is this, after where I am answering this question, you know, is that the person who really wants God, God, God and only God, mm-hmm. and he goes through different tests, mm-hmm. and he says, some people stop there, say, well, this is it. Mm-hmm. How do you know that? Well, there is an inner voice. Mm-hmm. There is an inner something yearning mm-hmm. that says, well, uh, no, oh yes, and that, that is, I am going to share with the viewers that, Please continue 
your search. Continue what you are inspired to do. And maybe it's a test that do we, you know, it's like people, a lot of people run from a jogging like a five kilometer, 10 kilometer, 15 kilometer. And some people go, some people find something on, along the way, you know, that is more tempting or something. I said, well, I, I, that's enough. I, I, I think this is it. But one who wants to go all the way, he knows it, that at the end, there is something waiting for me. And I think that was in my heart. I said, I will, God, you are there. And I, I know that, 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 that I will find you if I continue. And mercy of God. I think it also depends upon your own inner thirst. So if you're actually looking for God, then obviously you will find. But if your quest is for something else, maybe particular possessions, name, name, fame, money, power, then you might stumble upon uh, fake gurus who might mislead you and uh, lead you to misery and a lot of suffering in life. So uh, according to me, if you actually, uh, if you're quite disillusioned by the existence of fake gurus around and stories abound every year, uh, everywhere, you must first question yourself also. Were you actually seeking the truth or were you only seeking uh, comforts? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Indeed. Please continue. I think this is the way where the uh, rubble meets the road, you know, Correct. so to speak. Indeed, you know. Indeed. That's according to like what I have understood that people question everything but 